Hi friends, I hope you guys are having a good day today. I am here with your math lesson for Monday. So we're gonna start out with a warm up. I'm gonna write two numbers on my whiteboard and you have to tell me first which one would be the larger number. So here's my two numbers. You're gonna read them. Okay, now say out loud which one would be the bigger number. I hope you got it. Our number is 19. That would definitely be the bigger one. Okay, we'll do a couple more. Yeah. I want you to read the numbers on your own. Here's my next pair. Tell me which one is bigger. Okay, I'll tell you it is 48. I hope you got that one. 48 is the bigger one. Let's do one more pair. Okay, tell me which one's the bigger number. I hope you got it. It was 21. Okay, now I'm going to write a couple more pairs of numbers. This time you have to tell me which one is the smaller number. Ooh, smaller. Here's my first pair. Tell me which one's the smaller one. I hope you got it. It is 25. 25 is smaller. Okay, I'll write another pair. Again, you have to tell me which one is smaller. Okay, read them on your own. Okay, tell me which one's smaller. I hope you got it, it's 62. 62 is smaller. I'll do one more. Okay, read the numbers. Now tell me which one is smaller. I hope you got it, 15 is smaller. Good job. Okay, that was our little warm up for today. So today what you're gonna be working on is tally marks and tally charts. So before we get into the tally chart, I wanna review with you your tally marks. Remember a tally mark is when I have a line like this and it stands for one thing. So then say I'm counting and I'm tallying as I'm counting. When I count two things, I would have two tally marks, three things, three tally marks, four things, four tally marks. Now here's the tricky part. When I get to five things, I don't make another fifth line. Instead, I cross a line over my four tally marks, and this makes five. Now I have a group of five tally marks, and then I keep going. Six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, I'm at my fifth number. I need to cross ten. Every fifth number I cross. I know we've done this in class before, but I just wanted to review it with you so you don't forget. It's super important. Every fifth number, I cross it. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. I want uh, I'm gonna I want you to get out a piece of paper or something to write with, or something to write on and something to write with. So I have a whiteboard and marker. You can do a paper and pen. If you have a whiteboard and marker, that's great. Just something like that get it out I'll pause you can pause right now while you go get that okay now that you have it I'm going to tell you a number to make and you are going to make that many tally marks remember cross on the fifth here's the first one I want you to make the number six I'm also going to make it on my whiteboard okay if you're not ready pause it and then press play when you're ready okay here's the number six I did one, two, three, four, five, six. You should have a group of five and then one tally mark left over. Okay. Do another one, get ready. Your next one is 10. I'll do it while you do it at home. Okay, if you're not ready, pause. If you are ready, keep going. Here's 10. I have two groups of five. Five. 10. Okay, we'll do one more. How about the number 18? That's a big one. Try the number 18. Okay, I'm ready. If you're not ready, pause it. If you are, let's keep going. This is 18. 5, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18. So you should have three groups of five and then three tally marks. 
Okay. I hope you guys are ready. So those are tally marks, and that's going to lead us into tally charts. So right now, we're going to make a little tally chart together, and then your assignment today is you're going to fill out a tally chart on your own. So for the one we're doing together, a tally chart usually involves asking a big group of people a question. And it can't be just like a yes or no question. It has to be something that they can have options to choose from. So you can ask, like, what's your favorite color? And you could give people options of colors to choose from. Or you could say, what's your favorite candy? And people would have options to choose from for candy. So the one we are going to do today is favorite pet. So when I have a tally chart, first I need a title. So my title today will be favorite pet. And I'm going to put that at the top of my tally chart. Favorite pet pet. Now, we need to come up with some categories that people can choose from when I ask them this question, what their favorite pet is. So the three categories I have come up with are dog, cat, and hamster. Now, I know obviously there are other pets out there, but that's okay. I just chose three. I didn't want to have like 10 or 11. That's a lot to choose from. I think like three or four or five categories is a good amount. So I'm going to leave it at dog, cat, and hamster. So I have three categories. Now this is what my tally chart looks like so far. I have my title up here, favorite pet. And then I put my categories off to the side. I have dog, cat, and hamster. And then I have these blank spaces where I can put the tallies. So when we do this in class, I think we have done this in class once before, but if you were in class today, what we would have done is I would have you come up to the board and you would put a tally on which one is your favorite. Now, obviously I'm by myself here and you're at your house by yourself. So we can't do that. So today I'm gonna make up a fake class and I'll tell you how many people voted for each one. So with my little fake class, I had 10 people vote for dog. So I'm gonna put 10 tallies next to dog. Now remember, I have to, every fifth one, I cross. So let me do that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So there's ten tallies for dog. Now I had seven students vote for cat. So now here's the word cat. So I'll do seven tallies for that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then my last one, which was hamster, I had five students vote for that. So I'll do that one with five tally marks. One, two, three, four, five, and that's it. Okay, so now let's look at my tally chart. This is what yours is going to kind of look like when you're done with yours later today, except it'll be on a piece of paper. Okay, so I'm going to ask you a couple questions. First question, which animal had the most votes? So look at all my animals. Look how many tally marks they have. Which animal had the most votes? Okay, I hope you picked dog. Dog would be the right one. I can do that and I can look and see. Dog has the most tally marks for sure. Now, if you weren't sure, you can go through and count and write the numbers off to the side just to help yourself. So I could write 10 over here and seven and five just to help myself a little bit. Okay. Now my next question, which animal has the least amount of votes? That means the smallest. Okay, go through, look at it. Okay, I'll tell you, hamster has the smallest amount of votes. So if I look at him, I can tell hamster definitely has the smallest amount of tally marks, or I could go through and count and see, yep, hamster has the smallest number with five. My last question, how many more votes did dog get than cat? We know that dog has the most amount of votes. Remember, dog had 10 and cat had seven. So I need to figure out how many more did dog have than cat. Now I don't wanna add them together. I wanna to find the difference between the two numbers. So how I would do that is I would find cat's number on the number line, which is seven, and I would start at seven. Then I would hop up to dog's number on the number line, which is 10. So start at seven, hop up to 10. Use your number line that's in the back of your math workbook if you have that. And tell me, how many hops did it take you to get from 7 to 10? You can pause if you need to. Okay, if you're ready, tell me, how many hops did it take you? I hope it took you three. Three hops. That would be the difference between dog and cat. That would be how many more votes dog has than cat. Okay. 
So that is our tally chart today. So now, you have a couple of assignments to do for me. Your first one is you're gonna fill out a tally chart, which is really cool. So it's all about people's favorite foods in the class. Now obviously, you're not with the class today. So what I'm going to do is I will leave information on the assignment on Dojo and I'll tell you how many people voted for each category so that can help you fill out the tally chart, okay? So you're gonna fill out that tally chart, use my directions on Dojo to help you fill it out. So that's one of the assignments. You also have math boxes as you normally do. And then the last one, you have a little workbook page that reviews measurement and measuring length, which we talked about last week. So you can do that either on Dojo or you can do it in your workbook and I'll put the page number on Dojo as well. Okay, I will talk to you guys tomorrow, bye.